The last steam locomotive built for general use in the United States was completed in 1953 by the Norfolk and Western Railway. By 1960, all steam power was gone from American mainline railroads. However, every now and then, steam power briefly emerges as a source of motive power for transportation. Enter the California Steam Bus Project. Hi, this is Jeffrey, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the very unique California Steam Bus Project. Now, the idea of a steam-powered bus is not actually new. Uh, there have been steam buses for more than 100 years. Uh, the British and the French were pioneers in this form of transportation back in the late 19th century and early 20th century. And there was even a manufacturer of steam transit buses in Buffalo, New York uh, in the 1920s or so. Now, this program in California that was from the late 1960s into the early 1970s consisted of three buses that were given to three different transit agencies. And each agency was given a different contractor to design and build the steam bus. Now, these transit systems and their contractors were for AC Transit of Oakland, California, that was assigned to William Brobeck & Associates of Berkeley, California. For the San Francisco Municipal Railway, that was Lear Motors Corporation of Reno, Nevada. And for the Southern California Rapid Transit District of Los Angeles, that was Steam Power Systems. Now, what's interesting to know here is that Lear Motors Corporation was part of the Learjet uh, Corporation. So the inventor of the steam bus, steam bus or the developer of the steam bus for Lear was also the uh, owner of the Learjet Corporation. And the steam power systems one for SCRTD, uh, that company also built uh, prototype steam taxis for the Museum of Modern Art and I've done a video on that if you want to see that on the steam powered taxis that were displayed there back in 1976. So in this video we're going to read and review a official brochure, an official brochure from AC Transit that explains their steam bus project and we will also be looking at the steam buses from all three systems while we review and read through that brochure and then we'll have some further information and a conclusion of the project. So let's get started in reviewing the steam bus brochure from AC Transit and let's see what it says. Development of this steam powered bus is a significant achievement and an exciting one. Although considered a prototype, it offers the potential of cleaner, quieter, and more powerful urban mass transportation. During the next few months, AC Transit of Oakland, California will test this bus in experimental revenue earning service. From this experience will come information on, potential, on the potential of the steam engine as a possible alternate to the internal combustion engine. The value of steam as a non-polluting motive power has long been known. Steam autos and buses of the past are remembered with affection and respect, but hardly as practical for modern transportation. To determine the modern application of steam power, one of the foremost of the external combustion systems, the experimental steam bus project was set in motion by the California State Assembly in December of 1968. The project was financed by a $1.6 million grant from the Urban Mass Transportation Administration of the U.S. Department of Transportation, first such grant of any size to be made to a state legislative body. William M. Brobeck and Associates of Berkeley was one of the three contractors selected for installing a complete external combustion power plant in buses operated by public transit operators in California. Brobeck was paired with AC Transit and was the first to complete engine laboratory testing. It steamed with flying colors through exhausting tests, 
covering safety, endurance, fuel consumption, and reliability. Lear Motors Corporation of Reno, Nevada is providing a bus and power plant for testing by the San Francisco Municipal Railway. Steam Power Systems Incorporated of San Diego is equipping a bus for the Southern California Rapid Transit District of Los Angeles. Project management is being provided by Scientific Analysis Corporation of San Francisco. Technical management and evaluation services are by the International Research and Technology Corporation of Washington, D.C., through a field office in San Ramon, California. The California Air Resources Board and the California Highway Patrol are assisting in the testing and evaluation work. Further efforts will be required to bring the steam bus to the reality of the marketplace. But tests on the AC Trans steam bus have shown the power system is capable of delivering more horsepower than the diesel system it replaced. The 51-passenger AC Transit bus used for the project was manufactured by General Motors and powered by a six-cylinder Detroit diesel 6V71, which advertised a maximum rating of 183 net horsepower at 2100 RPM. The Brobeck system, using a three-cylinder double-acting compound expansion system, has recorded 203 net horsepower at 2100 RPM using steam at 850 degrees Fahrenheit and 800 pounds per square inch pressure. Because of the higher horsepower and inherent high torque characteristics, the Brobeck system delivers greater acceleration. Fuel consumption at present appears to be greater than the diesel replaced. All exhaust steam is recovered by condensers, eliminating any loss of steam. Substantially lower emission levels are expected. Brobeck's steam generator, installed in the original engine compartment at the rear of the coach, is based on a monotube concept. Unlike conventional boilers, no steam drums are used. There is no boiler to rupture in the event of an accident. Rather, a forced circulation of a small amount of water and steam is induced through 1,400 feet of coiled tubing. A system of automatic controls governs the flow of fuel and water to provide the steam required by varying operational conditions. The engine, condensers, and auxiliary parts are mounted mid-coach under the floor. There is no difference in the appearance of the bus. Familiar driver controls are retained. From cold, the engine needs two minutes for sufficient, sufficient power to move off and another three minutes before full power is available. Once on the road, the vehicle starts in 30 seconds, even after an hour's stop. During its demonstration by AC Transit, the bus will operate on different lines in regular service. The public will be asked their opinion in passenger surveys. Extensive testing will measure exhaust emissions, smoke, noise, actual road performance, fuel consumption, and general operating characteristics. This is a new look and a new concept. It, it may well mean happier, quieter, cleaner, smoother, and speedier public riding. So whatever happened to the steam bus project? And what was its conclusion? Well, there's at least one very detailed technical report that's available to the public from the Southern California Rapid Transit District. It was prepared by International Research and Technology Corporation of Washington, D.C. in January of 1973. So let's read some of the conclusions of the Steam Bus Project. The California Steam Bus Project final report reports the Southern California Rapid Transit District experience as follows. During the first week of public service, the SCRTD steam bus encountered numerous difficulties. Its first two days of attempted public service on September 5th and 6th were aborted because a bolt sheared on the combustor air fan assembly and the gear mechanism in the oil pump failed. On September 7th, the bus entered public service, but it completed only a one-way trip of 7.3 miles because a pulley slipped 
which prevented the fan from turning inside the boiler. On September 8th, the bus was withdrawn from public service when a boiler leak was detected. However, the bus traveled 86 miles on September 11th during performance testing until the boiler leak deteriorated. After the bus was towed to San Diego and the repaired boiler was installed, the bus returned to Los Angeles on September 28th and re-entered public service on September 29th, operating on Wilshire Boulevard. It completed a successful 15-mile round trip with air conditioning operational and favorable performance except for a loose battery terminal which caused a 27-minute delay. The bus thereby completed completed its second and last day of public service because vendor and fleet operator contracts expired on September 30th. In 5.5 months since March, the bus logged 1,007 miles. Ultimately, the Los Angeles steam bus from its San Diego-based manufacturer was in service for only two days, whereas the other test cities witnessed greater success. Still, the California State Legislature's Assembly Office of Research concluded that the steam bus project successfully completed its goals. So there you have it. It's like they're saying it wasn't successful, but it was successful. Okay. And it was only in service for two days. Or only in passenger service for two days. So what do you think of this steam bus project? Should something like this be tried again? Let me know. Let us know. So, as always, thank you for watching this video and have a great day. Bye.